Hey guys, welcome to, or welcome back to, my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be making some chocolate brownies with a little bit of powdered sugar on top. So, yeah, let's just get into the video. First things first, we're going to turn the oven onto a baking setting and turn it on to 180 degrees Celsius. Now we're going to add 3 quarter cup of flour and yes guys, this video I actually do have proper measurements because I've become a little bit more um, professional in these videos, I guess. Then the next thing that we're going to add is a quarter cup of cocoa powder and as you can see it went absolutely everywhere and rip that towel that I was using. Then we're going to be adding a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and I didn't really know how to measure that so I just used a teaspoon. Then we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then we're just going to mix it up until all the dry ingredients are mixed together. And then we're going to move on to mixing all of our wet ingredients. First thing that we're going to add is some sugar. I'm not sure why they put the sugar with the wet ingredients in this recipe, but anyway, we're going to add one and a half cups of sugar. And then we're going to add three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. I just used canola oil, sunflower seed oil. I'm pretty sure it's all the same thing. Then once I've added that, I'm just going to mix this with a little bit of vanilla extract. I used roughly half a cap, but you can use however much you want. It doesn't really make a difference. So I tried to mix this without putting the eggs in first, and that didn't really work as well as I was hoping it would. So I eventually added the eggs, and you add three eggs to this, and then you just mix that up. More mixing, some mixing we love mixing yeah basically and don't eat this you'll get salmonella thank goodness there's not a clip in this video of me eating some raw batter because i'm borderline gonna get salmonella then what i did was i put a little bit of the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and then i mixed it up just so that it wouldn't get like clumpy and just so that i wouldn't have too much to mix at once but once i thought it was ready i added in the majority of the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and i just mixed it until i got this kind of consistency Ooh, it looked so good then I took some butter and put it on parchment paper and just greased the pan that I was going to use. This pan was a 8 inch by 8 inch, but you were supposed to use a 9 inch by 9 inch. But anyway, I don't really think it matters. Then, ooh, she's glorious. Look how thick she is. I just added that to the pan and scraped it out of the bowls. By the way, these bowls are from KitchenAid. So is the pan that I'm baking in. Follow them on Instagram, buy their stuff. Their stuff is top quality. KitchenAid, please sponsor me. Anyway, I put it into the oven and I set the timer for 20 minutes. It actually ended up needing 25 minutes, but anyway, you live and you learn. I would rather check it at 25 minutes than it be like overdone and, you know, very crunchy. And I really wanted to get chewy brownies. This is me just putting some ingredients away. I know these clips only show me putting like literally three things away, but I promise I put everything in their right place. Ma, if you're watching this, um, yeah, I, I cleaned up after myself. This is me checking it after 20 minutes and it was a little bit wet on the inside still. So I put it back in for another 10 minutes. And then after those 10 minutes was done, it was perfect. She was glorious. She was beautiful. Then what I did was I decided to cut it into the pieces. I cut this mixture into 16 pieces. So four rows and four columns, I guess, of brownie. I think that these are like the ideal brownie size because if you had a little bit more, it would be a bit too rich to eat in one setting. And if you had less, it wouldn't really be enough. So here's my brownie, topping it off with some powdered sugar and there we go we've made ourselves some chocolate brownies from scratch are you guys surprised i'm doing more of this like 
from scratch baking it's amazing so here's just like a 20 second mukbang of me just eating the brownie and being absolutely happy about it anyway thank you guys so much for watching thank you for everyone that keeps supporting my videos it really really means the most to me i think that this brownie recipe was 10 out of 10 i've eaten quite a lot of brownies in my life and this was the perfect amount of cakey gooey and everything good so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please like this video and subscribe and yeah bye